hello friends i hope you like my videos and if you have any question you can ask me in the comment so in this video we will discuss about the very important investigation tools which is mostly used in pharma industry to investigate the root cause that is fault tree analysis friends my youtube channel name is pharma quality so please view like comment and subscribe my channel for more information regarding various good practices followed in pharmaceutical industries so now in this slide first we will discuss what is fault tree analysis using during the investigation so fault tree analysis also called issue tree analysis right a fault tree is a visual tool used to analyze and identify the cause of specific problem or failure so just imagine a system failures occur so how do we determine what went wrong right so actually fault tree analysis helps us to break down the issue in a step by step manner so by using a structured diagram we can trace the failure back to its root cause next a fault tree start with the main issue known as top event and breaks it down step by step into small contributing factor using logical relationships as you can see in this picture that in the top your problem statement right then you can break down it is in the possible causes so we will discuss this with an example in the subsequent slide right next fault tree is a useful and effective tool to identify the root cause during an investigation so by mapping out possible failure paths it provides a clear visible representation of contributing factors helping to pinpoint the exact cause and prevent future occurrences right so now here we will discuss how to use fault tree analysis so let's understand with these three important stages right so in stage 1 at the top of the tree you place the main problem which is often referred to as the top event so as you can see here this represents the issue you are trying to solve or understand that is your top event right next is stage 2 so from there the branches of the tree show all the potential region that could lead to the failure so each branches represents a possible cause or contributing factor and as you go deeper you identify even more specific issues that may have led to the top event right now in stage 3 each branches dives deeper breaking causes into smaller components until you finally figure out the root cause problem right so this step by step breakdown helps you to trace the failure back to its source allowing a targeted and effective solutions right so now in this slide we will take an example that is how to apply fault tree in an investigation so let's assume your problem statement as batch contamination so this batch contamination further can be subdivided into uh, with the problem statement so you, your cause major cause could be the equipment issue personal issue facilities issue and material issue so let's first discuss with the equipment issue so equipment issue may further subdivided uh, into the sub root cause that is improper cleaning of equipment or poor equipment maintenance so in improper cleaning of equipment can be subdivided for the sub, sub root cause that is residual product build up from previous batches or use of incorrect cleaning agents and when you are talking about the poor equipment maintenance then it may possible that uncalibrated equipment which introduce contaminants right or the lack of periodic preventive maintenance so now next one is the personal issue so personal issue can be subdivided into the insufficient training on gmp practices or non compliance with the sops so insufficient training on gmp can be further subdivided uh sub root cause that is employee may be unaware of the contamination risk or no refresher training on cleaning or handling protocols right and non compliance with sop can be further subdivided into the deviation from the established procedure 
during the pro production process right or improper handling of raw materials or components now next is the facilities issue so facility issue may be due to the environmental factor failure or unclean facility areas so environmental control failures may be due to the uncontrolled humidity or temperature which leads to the microbial growth right or there may be the malfunction of the hepa filters in the clean rooms and for the unclean facilities area the possibility could be the dirty surfaces in the production or storage area or insufficient pest control measures now let's discuss with the material issue so material issue can be subdivided uh, root cause may be due to the contaminated raw materials or packaging material issue so contaminated raw materials that could be due to the supplier issue leading to raw materials being contaminated or improper raw material storage conditions right and packing material issue may be due to the dirty or damaged packaging materials introduce the contaminants right so in this way you can use or apply the fault tree analysis for your investigation to identify the root cause of the problem statement right so friends this is all about the fault tree analysis i hope you can now understand the concept so thank you so much for watching the